Hey babes, hello, hello, hello. So I'm feeling a little under the weather from probably all the channeling I've been doing, but I wanted to talk to you about two very important things. I don't know if it's going to allow me to even record it. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is this Roe versus Wade thing, as well as the um, CERN thing that's supposed to be going down on July 5th. So I'm going to start with the CERN thing. Um, <clears throat> see, I see a lot of people saying that they think it's because CERN is all about portals and different dimensions and stuff like that. But what I think they're trying to do is remove the God gene. Because it's literally, they're after energy particles. And that's exactly what the God gene is. So the reason <clears throat> I'm, I'm a little nervous and want to give my babes a warning is because I've been actually saying this for years about lowering your vibrations with like alcohol and drugs and, you know, poor food qualities, you know, if an animal was tortured and then you eat it, you're absorbing their feelings, you're absorbing their DNA, you're absorbing them. So <clears throat> I really need you to just take this week. If Look, if something happens, nobody's actually going to notice a difference until it's, it's happened. And the only difference we're going to notice is that the people that were in low vibration have become even more lower vibration okay the 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 bad are gonna get badder okay and that's the only change we're gonna actually see um what i'm saying is stay high vibrational because when you become low vibrational you're susceptible or suscept yeah sub susceptible to basically allowing any type of energy in Okay, if you're high vibrational, a low vibration cannot get in. So I need you to watch what you eat, watch what you say, watch what you think, especially July 4th. No drinking, no drugs, guys, no, I'm, I'm telling you, those hamburgers and all that stuff, it's it's not right. And I'm not a vegan or anything like that, so I have to I practice what I preach as well, okay? Um... So this is, I really feel like they're trying to take the God gene out of us um, and mess with our portals and, and different dimensions. So yeah, just be careful. Now, I want to talk to you about this Roe versus Wade. Now, I am completely against abortion. I don't believe in it. I don't want to murder a baby, you know, hello. But I also believe that it's people's choice. It's it's my body. It's my choice. I believe in that. Um what scares me with this is basically, okay, number one, if you have a miscarriage, they're going to deem it a felony. Okay, so they literally just deemed RH negative blood a felony. Do you hear me? We were just talking about this. We were literally just talking about this. They just deemed... RH negative blood, a felony, because my blood will attack the baby's blood, okay, and then my blood eats it away. That's what it does. I don't know why, but that's what it does. So you're telling me if I have a miscarriage because of my blood type, I'm going to have a felony? Oh, and get this, ectopic pregnancies. You guys know I went through four of those back to back, four they're saying, oh, this makes me want to just burst out in tears just saying this out loud. Um, huh. Oh, it hurts my heart. Okay. <clears throat> They're saying that if a woman has an ectopic pregnancy, that the doctor has to attempt to save the baby's life and put it in the uterus. So basically, they made me kill my babies, all four of them. <laughs> oh my god. And they could have saved them the whole time. They just chose not to because they didn't feel my baby's life was valuable. Oh my god, this hurts. <laughs> this this is just madness. <clears throat> this is madness. This is madness. <clears throat> because I don't think they took in and maybe they did. Oh, maybe they freaking did. <laughs> Maybe they know exactly what they're doing. I was about to say, maybe they didn't take in, in consideration RH negative blood, but Spirit just told me, yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, this is the point. Oh my God, what is happening? You think, you think shit's weird now? 
Wait. <laughs> this is nothing. Oh my god, that hurt my heart so bad. I'm sorry. You guys know I haven't really dealt with that. And I kind of just pushed it behind me. And it hurts. It hurts. Those were still my babies. Oh, I hate people. Why are they so fucked up? <laughs> oh, jeez. Look, um... Kanika has been showing me a few things, and she wants me to talk about something I don't want to talk about. Something that traumatized me as a child, because it all ties in together, and I'm just so scared to talk about it, because people are so fucking mean, yo. People are just so fucking mean, and I'm not crying because they hurt my feelings, I'm crying because they fucking mean. <laughs> And I don't know if I can share this with anybody. I've shared it with my hubby. And that was it. Because that's all who matters. But she's telling me this all ties in together. And I'm, I don't know if I could bring myself to talk to it. Talk about it. Like, she brought it to my attention a long time ago. And she's bringing it up again. And I'm mad because I'm, like, fighting her. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know it ties in. I know she showed me A, B, C, D, E, F, G. She showed me. But I'm scared to talk about it. Because <laughs> people are such fucking judgmental jerks. They hate it. <laughs> I also didn't realize when I was showing the video proving that BM is part of this and his entire family that in part two when I did part two for Kanika or maybe it was part three I can't remember now because my mind is just all fogged up from crying it was either part two or part three that I said there was a two two men two older men in in his room <clears throat> And they weren't like as old as as the kids at the party um that he was a dirty cop and then i didn't realize it until a, a, like four or five hours after i posted the video of yesterday um that his remember it was said that his family was a, a cop it wasn't a cop it was like a sergeant or some something like that a, i don't know what it, the exact words were but he was in the police and that he was doing illegal stuff so they got rid of him but never replaced his actual um position because there was nobody in the family to fill that position so they just excluded that position yes that's him that's freaking him and remember i said that um he was there like, what, when the regular cops got there, he gave them a story, and that's what they all fucking went with. All of them. It all makes sense, guys. I don't know what to do about this this next part. Um, See, because I was going to do her mother next. And, you know, I, I sat there with her, and, I, I, you know, I was just channeling and whatever. And she's not saying really anything bad except for one thing, but it, it really didn't... She didn't think it had to do with Kanika. So I'm, I'm kind of like, it was nothing really majorly bad except for one thing, you know. Um, but this next part, this next part is the part that is just a little too touchy, a little too close to home, a little too traumatic to relive again if I tell you and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know how to tell. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't fucking know. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to. But it all ties in and it all ties these fucking celebrities in. And I kid you not. I do believe it's major, but honestly, I don't want to talk about it because I don't feel like anybody's going to do shit about it anyway. So why even put myself through this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not fucking crying today. I'm not doing this again. <sighs> it's a lot. And a lot is about to happen. A lot is about to come. I don't know if we're going to see the effects of it right away. <sighs> but please. I had to get that out. I'm sorry. Um, <sighs> again, I got to practice what I preach. I got to practice what I preach and just stay high vibrational. 
But, you know, talking about this stuff, it, it brings back, I told you, my life was full of nothing but trauma, you know? And just the last 11 years have I found happiness, like true happiness, you know? And I don't want to talk about my traumas because they're behind me. That's not who I am. What happened to me does not define who I am. But Kanika's trying to push me to tell you, and I don't want to. <laughs> I'm <laughs>